What's up? It's me. It's the guy that formerly ran this channel. This is me officially announcing my retirement as a musician. I have been doing this for 15 years now, and I'm just I'm just ready to not do it anymore. Um, for the first and only time, I actually have an outline of things I want to make sure I mention. Uh, brought up over here since this is likely the last time most of you are going to see or hear from me but this is not a, a prank or a drill this is this is it I'm I'm finished I'm finished um, the biggest thing obviously is why I even kept putting my music online in the first place I've always made it pretty clear that I don't care about fame or attention that I don't want any of that at all and it's true and I think nothing says that clearer than just not sharing it anymore because <laughs> you know I can't get fame or attention if I don't produce anything for anybody so there's that but um I just remember how many hobbies I used to have when I was younger I I used to do a lot you know I used to do a lot of drawing I always had all these sketchbooks full of maps and and things. I used to write poetry, I used to make video games, um, I used to make so many different kinds of music, and it was all just stuff for myself, and like writing as well, like sci-fi writing, it was all just for myself, because I like to do it, and I like to go back on it, and that was really the motivating force back then was to, you know, I just liked making stuff for myself. But when I was younger, I got it in my head to try to become a musician, and so I pushed myself to be a musician. And I think over 15 years, that has just completely changed how I view uh, creative output and how I view hobbies. You know, it's very much transformed my brain into a, a content driven mindset. And one by one, all the things I used to like, I just don't do anymore because my brain would focus too much on thinking of a. How do I make this content? How do I make this a way that people can digest it? How do I share it with people? And with that comes just a change in how you produce things. You have to suddenly make it a certain quality to appeal to others, and you have to make compromises and and all this stuff. And it's like I didn't, I just didn't care about that. I don't, I don't want to be an author or a musician. I just like to do this stuff for my own amusement and for you know, the amusement of my family and friends, and I just watched so many of my hobbies kind of fall to the side because they couldn't be content, and they would take away from the time and effort it took to constantly maintain a musical presence on the internet. That became such a time sink that I just couldn't really do anything else, and I miss doing all that stuff. And, um, you know, it's just not fun. It's not, there's so many songs I've never put out because I would hear them and be like, no, this isn't what people want. Or so many projects I want to do, they'd be like, nah, this would take time away from the main stuff that people want. And it became to the point where it's what people want. And even though I was very clearly making my own weird brand of music that <laughs> that no one really should like, it ended up being that that's just how it was. You know, I just got, it just became to the point where like, I would spend almost as much time a day worrying about my next song as I would, you know, stuff with my my wife and house and family and job and everything else, except... You know, those have a positive return on my life, and this had no positive return whatsoever. It was just a time sink. Um, it's not the end of me making music, obviously. I'm still going to make music from now until the day that I die. But I'm just... I'm just done... I'm just done doing this. You know, the music's going to be mine again. It'll be mine and my wife's and my family's and my friends again. You know... I don't have to worry about if making a bunch of 16-bit remixes of my old material will do well. I don't have to worry about, you know, doing a bunch of piano arrangements and having that take time away from the next big single. I don't have to worry about whether my short stories, you know, show instead of tell. Or if they're consistent with their world building when I put them online. You know, I have to think about how am I going to have guitar practice be a, a content, or how am I going to have a drawing be content. Or how am I going to make a video game? How am I going to make it good enough to be worth people playing? And, you know, I, don't, I won't have to because I'm just not going to do it anymore. This is this is the retirement. This is the retirement of me to just go back to being myself again in private with the people I care about personally. 
Um, because at the end of the day, this is all supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be cathartic and fun and enjoyable. And it's not fun when it becomes a job like this. Because it's not just making music. It's trying to make music that's good enough, so to speak. You know, making and then having artwork for it that's good enough. Having, you know, making video descriptions, making sure the metadata's fine. Getting it put out on all these different platforms. Having to watch the analytics. Having to respond to comments. And... It's it's more than just making music, and I don't care about the rest of it. I hate the process of... <laughs> I hate the after process of the music. I just like to make music, you know? I don't care about the artwork and everything. I don't... It, it's just work. It's work that's not enjoyable. It detracts from the enjoyment of just making the music, you know? And, um... Before there's any sort of alarm, I know there are people that I've had previous commitments with for music things for soundtrack projects and stuff... You don't have a cause to be alarmed. I'm still going to fulfill any commitments I have to people currently. Those aren't going to stop. I'm not flaking on you. You'll still get my full undivided attention as if I never stopped. So don't worry. Um, not going to flake because that wouldn't be very cool of me to do. Um, you know, I really, I think about it and honestly, I'm not big by any means. You know, 600 subs is not a huge, huge amount of people, but... I think back on the 15 years where I have been doing this, and I have accomplished a few things here and there that, that do make me happy, you know? I, um, gosh, I, I mean, I have an audience in the first place, that's exciting. <laughs> uh, I hit almost 200,000 views at my peak, that's, that's insane to me to think about, you know? I, I've met so many people that I wouldn't have met otherwise, um, I have people do covers of my material and remixes of my material, I, at one time I got f featured on a local radio station. I've had people pay me to make songs for them. Like, if I could tell that version of me half my life ago who was just now starting that I'd be able to do all those things, I think he'd be very pleased. And, you know, I just... I don't even care much about accomplishment, and I have accomplished more than I thought I ever could, and that's enough. And whether I keep doing this or not, it's not going to take away from what I have been able to do. So... No hurt feelings there. As to what's going to happen to the music online, I'm pretty much going to scrub almost all of it, really. Um, this video and any songs that are considered commitments to other people, they'll be the only public videos on the channel. Everything else is being unlisted. I'm going to make a play three playlists. There'll be a playlist for my very classic old songs, a playlist for my more modern songs, a playlist for any Sonic and video game remixes I did, those will be the only public playlists. And this video and the other ones I just said will be the only public videos. Everything else is unlisted. You know, my Bandcamp pages are going to be gone. I'm going to be getting off of streaming sites and getting rid of my publisher now. I'm going to be... Um, I lost what I was... What my train of thought. Bandcamp gone. Yeah, it's all just... My website is going to be gone. So no more access to my writings, which honestly I don't think any of you are reading anyway, so no no big loss there. But, yeah, um, this isn't even out of left field. Maybe for some of you this is out of left field. It's not out of left field for me. I've been thinking about this since I think probably last summer, honestly. About a year now. It's been in my mind. And I think it's finally got to the point where I'm ready. And it was emotional to come to that decision because it's a really big change, because I have been doing this for half my life now. But once I got over that shock of it being a big change, I've honestly felt really giddy. <laughs> you know, I've I've been thinking about all the things I'm going to have the time and energy to do again. And it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And because there's no expectations on it besides just entertaining myself, the journey, even just making it, whether I finish them or not, is fun enough. Just knowing that I just get to make again freely, it's a huge weight off my chest. It's It's liberating. I feel like... I finally get the control back for all these things that make me happy. Because honestly, when you share what you make for other people, you don't... It's not yours anymore. It's other people's. And this way, it's going to be mine again, and I want it to be mine again. And I've honestly been really excited for it. Um, I remember reading Getty Lee's autobiography, ba of the background Christmas, you know, the, the bass guitarist and vocalist for Rush, talking about during their final tour, as it got closer and closer to its end, the drummer, Neil Peart, had gotten more and more excited for it to end, and he was just jubilated that the band was finally over with. 
not because he hated being in the band, but because, you know, there was finally like a light, an end, a, a conclusion where he could finally move on and go back to just being himself for himself. And obviously I'm not even close to the caliber of any Rush musician, but it's the same feeling of just freedom. Freedom. I'm... I'm... I'm always I'm I'm thankful for everyone who's been a part of the ride for what's been half my life, obviously. And if you know me personally and you're just one of the many faceless subscribers, you're obviously still going to be seeing me around because you know we know each other. I'm not becoming a weird hermit out here in the prairie. But um, yeah, I'm just excited. Um, that just because I'm not around doesn't mean I'm not going to keep an eye on this stuff. My songs are still mine. Do not go use them without my permission at all. I will still, that's why they're staying on here, is so I can still do copyright strikes if you try to steal my stuff. I've done two copyright strikes in my time, and I've won them both, so I'm confident that if you try it, I'll win a third, fourth, fifth time, however many times it takes. It's my last warning to you. But, um, I think that wraps it up, you know? I think that wraps it up. This is, unless I change my mind several years down the road, which I don't think is likely, you know? This is the last time some of you are going to see and hear from me. And I'm thankful for all of it, but I'm happy to have it behind me. So I hope you guys have a wonderful life. Mm -hmm.